storm clouds are gathering. It's in the bag. Storm vs. TA is a good example of a skill-based matchup. If one side makes enough mistakes, the opponent can and will snowball out of control. As Storm vs. TA, instead of the usual rotations from lane to jungle, our job will be to devote our entire early game to controlling the lane. TA does fairly linear sustainable damage, so early game harassment can be offset by chest branch tangos, leading to a faster battle. And since we're planning to stand in lane more than jungle, mangoes take priority over clarities. If TA did not skill refraction at level 1, Storm can simply use remnants to discourage TA from coming too close. Denied! And once TA does start using Refraction, Storm's goal is to push the lane out as soon as possible. This creates Creep Advantage, which helps remove the Refraction charges almost immediately. Visibility. You blew it. And this is the entire strategy. Approach the lane, clean it up, use the creep boost to go for the kill or safely take runes. Classic Chu one Chu works well here. Remnant helps shut the lane and overload charges boosts Storm's threat clicks after doing so. Vortex should be taken as early as 3, since TA's short range always guarantees a full Vortex combo. Over here now! Zip! Where's the party? I'm over here! Zap! Zap! If you attempt to lane by simply using right clicks to last hit, TA will simply split every attack of the creeps onto you. Therefore, it is important to clear the creeps at all times and give TA no creeps to play off from. Once the first ward expires, it is crucial that you plant your own observer and sentry without delay. If sentry reaches out towards the tower, TA can no longer use melt to dodge the attacks. It also removes her high ground trap defenses. If all went well and Storm is ahead, it is extremely important not to relax, not to AFK in the jungle, but always roam around the middle. TA will want to clear her ancient stacks and Storm should always be ready to intercept those attempts. It is also advised for Storm's team to join those ancient patrols to either ward the ward or win small clashes. By securing the ancient's area, it is easy to control and take down the entire lower portion of the map, soon choking the enemy out of last bits of safe space, and without them ever coming online, the throne is secured. Ha -ha! Here I am! Zap! Zap! Ha -ha! Killing spree! Own age! No whining now! This concludes Storm vs. TA matchup. I'll leave you with the rest of the match. Good luck. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance 
Prince Middle Tower shouldn't have to take this abuse? Wooden Pop, I'm over here. Looking for me? Sit down. Ho ho! Touche! What I miss? Zip! Here I am! Much good's happening to Radiant's bottom tower. Over here now. Radiant's middle tower shouldn't have to take this abuse. Oh, -ho! <sighs> told you a storm was coming. Illusion. Radiant's middle tower could use some help. <laughs> Sit down. No. Uh, <laughs> Maybe this middle tower shouldn't have to take this abuse. Only. Uh, Radiant's top tower deserves just as much help as bottom. Killing spree. Tower go. Radiance top tower has looked better. Radiance top tower is under attack. Here I am. Dominating. Radiance top tower deserves just as much help as bottom. <laughs> Not much good's happening to Radiant's bottom tower. <laughs> Mega kill! Looking for me? For those cracks in Dyer's top tower? Unstoppable! Double kill! <laughs> Killing spree. How many daggers am I holding up? Whoa, oh, what I miss? Damage. 
Invisibility. Wooden ball. Zap. God like double kill. <laughs> Dominating. Ownage. <laughs> Middle Tower could use some help. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiant structures have been snow fortified. Where did Radiant Middle Tower go? Over oh, here now. Let the fun begin. Middle barracks have fallen. Putin pop. Where did Radiant's middle tower go? 